I'm Pete. Thanks for joining me today uh, to talk about Microsoft's most recent release um, for Dynamics 365 HR. Um, I've been having a look at the release notes and for me I think automation that not only improves the HR department's efficiencies but also the employee experience seems to be a big focus for Microsoft with this release. Would you agree with that? Hi Siobhan. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, there, there's a big focus on improved efficiency. Um, and they're also um, working hard to um, to expand the HCM ecosystem um, out to include um, include other things, which is which is great to see. So, in terms of the the new functionality, what excites you the most, Pete? Well, um, for the uh, in benefits management, um, there's uh, progress being made there. So as you know, recently Microsoft have completely overhauled the uh, benefits management functionality, uh, which was um, pretty quickly uh, followed up by including uh, additional dashboards into it. Um, and with this uh, release wave, they're, um, they're moving that on further. So they're in, in incorporating several uh, administration screens uh, for better visibility for the benefits managers um, and including the ability to take bulk actions. Um, so there was a lot of um, a lot of clicks, a lot of work um, involved in in administering uh, the um, the benefits management, especially especially for larger organizations. Uh, so they've they've really addressed um, that workload uh, and and work to make that um, um, as efficient as possible. Um, they're also bringing in notifications, um, so we can we'll now be able to set up templates for for emails and uh, bulk uh, bulk send emails out to people um, again, which uh, which was going to have to be um, off system. Uh, but now they're incorporating that into the system, uh, which is excellent. Um, integrations is also is also a, a big area. Um, so they're they're making a lot of progress there. Um, so for instance, um, they're incorporating a an integration with project operations. So previously, uh, when a when a new person joins the organization. Um, we would have to set them up in, in HR, but then separately go and set them up in project operations so that they become a resource uh, that you can assign to projects. So that was a, lo a lot of duplication of effort. Um, uh, and that is going to be uh, automatic now. And that will include information like um, what skills the person has uh, and also any uh, leave and absence that they're uh, um, that they're putting in um, you know which is all good information for people who are uh, trying to resource uh, personnel against projects so that's that's excellent to see as well um, another one that that I, th I think is great um, is they are bringing in the ability to uh, to integrate external learning management systems. So we see a lot of it, a lot of requests from our customers about learning management um, and uh, the ability to do e-learning. Um, so Microsoft are building out um, building out their APIs in the same way that they've recently done with payroll and recruitment, uh, which is is great because. That means that uh, you'll have all the benefit and power of that sort of specialist software for the you know, dedicated LMS uh, systems, uh, but it's all all delivered within this under the same umbrella through the um, through the self service. Okay, am I right then in saying that? The merge of the infrastructure merge of Dynamics 365 HR into the finance and operations environment um, is going to be given as additional functionality into HR self-service portal. Yes, so so because the two systems are coming together um, and the and the 
and the self-service portals will therefore be merging together. That means that when you're going in um, to your HR uh, self-service, uh, in the same place you would be um, requesting requesting holidays and time off, uh, we'll now have those additional components um, that uh, that FNO has, uh, such as expenses and timesheets and things like that. So Microsoft are really um, giving us the opportunity to pull things together um, and deliver it all as a single package, which which is great. Fantastic news, yeah. So what else about the release excites you? Is there anything else that you want to talk about on during our conversation today? Yeah, um, so there's uh, they're moving forward with uh, leave and absence. So they're introducing sickness. Uh, so previously, uh, if uh, if you were tracking um, sickness um, using the leave and absence module, uh, you would just bring it in as um, you would just enter it as a, a leave type that could be tracked against. Um, but now, now Microsoft are approaching sickness as a separate thing, which of course it is. Yeah. Um, so the ability to um, enter sickness with no end date so it's open-ended uh, and then that gives you the op opportunity to automate the uh, the coming back to work um, uh, return to work process uh, which again is something we we hear requirement for from our customers uh, very often so it's good to see microsoft are, are addressing that but the um the area that um that's that I find most interesting, um, that I find most exciting, um, is they are bringing in business process automation. So uh, there's there's been um, some business process automation uh, before, uh, you know, checklists and things like this, but they are um, they're really building that out now. So there are various. Um, various things within um, the various actions within the system that are very click intensive, you know, such as um, um, hiring a new a new worker, um, and then you need to go and um, give them a salary and uh, enroll them in leave and absence plans, um, enroll them in in uh, benefits plans and things like that. Uh, you know, so there, there's there's a lot of um, a lot of work in that, a lot of clicks for the um, uh, HR personnel. Um, but Microsoft are now um, bringing in um, functionality to address this, to be able to set default, set up um, set up uh, rules, uh, so that a lot of this stuff can just be done automatically based on the um, policies of your organisation. So that that it seems like a seems like a small thing when you when you read it in the um, when you read it in the Microsoft documentation, yeah. but it's it's very very significant. It's it's going to be a big uh, a big step forward in my view. Okay. Well, yes, some exciting times ahead for yeah. Um Thanks so much for sharing your your highlights from yeah. this release wave. I think we can both agree that. It's definitely going to be helping organisations achieve more through automation and improving that employee experience. So, um, yeah, exciting times ahead. So thanks very much, yes. Pete. I appreciate your input today. OK. Thanks, Siobhan. OK, bye. Bye.